Hi, my name is Matea Jones. Thanks for joining us on our campus dining tour, hashtag you work home live. It's 1030, it's Tuesday. We're really happy to have you guys join us today. Um, again, my name is Matea Jones. I'm a senior here at the University of Arkansas. I'm majoring in food science, so I'm going to my last year, so home stretch. We're almost there. Uh, I've lived on campus for three years, so I'm very familiar with campus dining, and specifically Fulbright Dining Hall, Northside for Life. You know, that's what it is. But behind the camera today is going to be Courtney. I'll let her introduce herself and we get to know you guys. Good morning, everyone. My name is Courtney. Um, I'm also a student here at the University of Arkansas. I'm about to start my sophomore year as a nursing major. And I'm from Fayetteville, so I'll be behind the camera today. I'll be getting all of you guys' questions. Um, feel free to ask us anything while we're touring, touring the dining halls. Um, about the food or anything on campus, I'll be happy to answer that for you guys. So yeah, please do ask us any questions that you have and we'll be sure to answer those. Okay, so we're gonna head in and you guys, introduce you guys to some people who know a lot more about campus dining than we do. So we're here in Fulbright Dining Hall and we're going to meet Kristen and Ashley. Hi guys! Hey. So I'm Kristen, I'm the marketing manager on campus um, and then this is Ashley, our campus dietitian. Um, so we'll just start out right here. So you will, at any of um, our locations, you will be able to use your campus ID card as your payment. So that's any of our retail and any of our um, registers at our dining halls. So. Um, I will mention about meal trays. I know that's kind of a common question. So you can actually exchange one of your dining hall swipes for a combo meal at any of our retail locations. So we offer two during breakfast. Um, that is Bruffa Go Go and Avon Payne at the Union. And then lunch is Bruffa Go Go and dinner is Chick fil A, Slim Chicken, uh, Payway, all of those good places. We'll just kind of take you around a little bit. We're fixing to open. Um, typically, what you can find here is soups. Uh, we've got sandwiches and subs that you can make. Salads, always available. Some toppings, fruit, granola. You want to top off the yogurt. Um, you want to circle back around through here. Bread. Everybody loves bread. <laughs> This is kind of our home style station. You can see a lot of variety here. It's always something different. Um, our grill line is right over here. You can always find in the morning, you can make your own omelet, or we always have burgers, hot dogs, um, chicken, and then some steamed veggies, fries. It is in the making, but <laughs> pizza is normally here. And you can also find in the morning for breakfast, breakfast pizza which is awesome. Um, and then if you get really lucky, we have delicious cinnamon rolls that are over here too. Uh, we have kind of a stir fry pasta station here. Um, it's always really good too. A very, um, students love it. More home style here, kind of an authentic um, future um, Mexican cuisine there. Really good. And didn't you eat here a lot? Um, I did, Gordon. yes. Yeah. I lived um, at Reed, which is just right up the sidewalk. So. I lived in Hots for my freshman year and in Maple South for two years, so Fulbright has been my home for three yeah. years. <laughs> Do you have any favorites? Um, the stir fry and the omelets in the morning, if I could make myself get up before my early classes. <laughs> ice cream. Uh, ice cream. Ice cream is a staple anywhere on campus. Any dining hall, get ice cream. Ice Don't leave without the ice cream. And this is our green table. So what's really cool about this is it's our gluten-friendly concept and our gluten-friendly station. Um, we have two of these on campus here at Fulbright and at Bruff. So I'll let Ashley, our dietitian, kind of talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, we remove all ingredients that actually contain gluten. So anything that's actually on the menu would not contain any gluten at all. So um, that's a really cool feature that we get to offer. We also remove shellfish, um, gosh, I'm losing my mind here. Uh, <laughs> Don't you have icons too to kind we of show? Do, yeah. How does that work? Um, and so if we actually walk over here, you can see this is just one. No, but this is just one. So we've got an icon that would indicate vegetarian or vegan options, as well as another icon called that says balanced on it that just helps you figure out that this is a healthier choice um, compared to some of the 
some of those other things that you see in the dining hall that may not be so healthy. So. And if they wanted to know where the icons were listed, can we find them on your website or where would we find them? Yes, so we actually have an app called Dine on Campus that houses nutritional information, menus, hours, which is huge, um, a map with all of our food locations on it, um, events, kind of all that good stuff, all housed in one app, so all at your fingertips. Then that's Dine on Campus. And I will do a plug right now about our social media, so that's another place to find out about um, events and different, um, yeah, I'll just point you guys right over here. So we've got it kind of cycling through our screens. It's Food on the Hill. We're on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We love Instagram, though, so give us a follow on there. <laughs> um, we want to bounce over here and maybe talk about our carbon footprint a little bit. We have a really good partnership with the Food Recovery on campus. So any leftover that we, food that we have, we end up donating. Um, and then we also... Um, are very sustainable and have a partnership with the city of Fayetteville and the leftover food is made into compost so that's really cool. Yes. The VAC is a really great program, food recovery, the food pantry, it's a great opportunity to get involved on campus when you arrive. Um, I think applications to volunteer for that go out that first week that the school starts so be look on the lookout for that, get involved, join, help save the planet, help save the food. I know food insecurity is a big problem on college campuses that's something we're actively working to fix, so this is a great way that we help do that on campus. So we have a couple questions. Um, yeah. Amanda asks, what time do the dining halls close during the week? So 8 p.m. 8 p.m. And yes. then, um, how yes. do the dining halls provide for students with food intolerances? Uh, students with food intolerances or food allergies or any medical condition that does require a special diet, um, we always encourage them to actually dine at the green table. Um, do special made-to-order meals and then I'm also as the, as the campus dietitian I'm also the resource for them so you guys can always send me an email at diet at uark.edu um, and I'm more than happy to at least start that conversation and help our students figure out how to navigate the dining halls. Yeah, you know, I'm lactose intolerant and one thing I was really concerned about was being able to drink milk because I do drink milk at home and I remember I asked about a certain brand and it showed back up in Fulbright a couple of weeks later and I was really thankful for that. So I got to you know have my cereal, drink my milk, and be fine. So they really are accommodating. You just have to ask and talk to them. They're really yeah, nice. I think that's my biggest piece of advice. If you need something, you got to ask for it. So, yeah, But we're more than happy to, to do what we need to do to make sure that we accommodate you safely. And at all of our dining halls, I will say, we have a texting number called Text to Solve. Um, we've got one down here if you can maybe see, um, but we have them at all of our locations. There is a different texting number at all of our dining halls. So if, if you have any comments or questions or you need dietary assistance, um, feel free to text that number. If, even if it's something as simple as, hey, we're out of ketchup, let us know. Awesome. And you know, speaking of reducing the carbon footprint, you, you actually grow some lettuce on campus, is that right? We do. We do, in a shipping container. <laughs> yeah, called the Freight Farm. Yeah. So, we, do we want to go ahead and walk over there? Is that good? Have we seen what we want to see here in Fulbright? I think so. I mean, unless we want to just take a quick tour, let's just kind of loop it. We'll finish looping around. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, oh, the drinks, too. Yeah, yeah, lots of variety over here. We have um, always kind of infused water, which is super trendy right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yep. Don't want to use that exit ever. <laughs> Spe <laughs> special, special door today. Um, all right, so while we're walking over to the freight farm, um, kind of wanted to share a little bit about what's coming new to campus. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard the buzz yet, but we are getting a whole new food court. Um, we are getting a full Chick-fil-A, which everybody's like, what is a full Chick-fil-A? <laughs> yes, full service. That means breakfast, milkshakes, you name it, we're going to have it. We're really excited. <laughs> Payway, which is brand new. We're super pumped about that. Um, we're going to have True Burger, which is a um, concept that we actually developed. It serves um, fries, burgers, and shakes. And 5% of your purchase goes back to a student scholarship um, from a department on campus, which is super cool. Housing was one time the recipient of that too, so we appreciate that. Yeah, so that was awesome, and we love giving back um, to the campus and the community. Um, and then Flying Burrito, which is a local um, kind of Tex-Mex place, mm -hmm. kind of like a Chipotle almost. Um, so we're super pumped about that. And is there an Italian concept too? Oh yes, I almost forgot, Rustic Italian. So it's kind of like a, um, it's kind of like a Rustic Italian kitchen. So it's gonna house uh, pizza, sandwiches, um, dessert, salads really any yeah. any of those any of those um, items we're gonna have and I will say we actually just got a huge brick oven in oh, pizza yeah, oven in for yesterday, this concept so. yesterday so we're really excited about that and I know our director of culinary is ready <laughs> to start <laughs> playing with pizza. Pizza. Yes. <laughs> um, a go go. You mentioned like Bruff a go go earlier. Yes. Can you explain what the a go go concept is? Yes. So Bruff a go go is actually a concept developed for kind of on the go. So if you are in and out and you just need, you know, just a quick drive by where you need to get, you know, all the necessities that you need, um, it comes with basically it's you just kind of exchange that meal swipe. So you go in and you get a sandwich, wrap, salad. Um, one of those items, you get hand fruit chips and a drink, you get kind of a whole combo meal um, and exchange it for a swipe. And they're open 7 a.m. and we've extended it to 4 p.m. So you have that flexibility um, to get it all day long. Yeah, it was a really great thing to like use um, between classes. If you like had not like a full like hour between a class and you just eat something real fast, then go to a dining hall, because sometimes the lines do get long and like those peak times. Um, you can just go into Bruffa Go Go, grab a sandwich, eat in the Greek Theater, uh, and just go on right to class. It was yes, really great. And that is located, I, sometimes people are like, where is it? So it's actually located um, right below Bruff. Um, so next to Quiznos, which that's another thing that I mentioned, that our sushi is moving. So it used to be housed at the Union, um, and it's actually going to be housed now at Quiznos. So that'll be really good. Um, and yeah, I think, and I forgot to mention though, the food court, um, you will be able to meal trade in the evening there. So your favorites, Payway, Chick-fil-A, Flying Burrito, True Burger, you will be able to exchange that dining swipe for a meal trade. And billing is setting up there. differently too. I know that when I've gone there in the past, you kind of get your stuff at the station. Yes. And then you end up going to another line. To yes. Get. So now hardly no line. So you'll be able to actually pay where you are getting your food at. So you will be able to go to Chick-fil-A get your sandwich, your fries, and your drink all right there and pay right there. You won't have to stand in two lines, so we're super pumped about that. Yes. And when is that opening, the food court? So that will be open, keeping our fingers crossed, it will be open by the time school starts. Okay. Okay. So you will have it day one. <laughs> I uh, thought it'd be cool to look at this thing from a little yeah. bit of distance because you might not even know what this is when you walk yeah. out to the closet. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally a shipping container. Yeah, yeah, this is our freight farm. So it's an upcycled shipping container that's been converted into a vertical hydroponic farm. Um, we love it. So we actually, we've been able to grow all sorts of produce in it. Uh, but right now we just stick to lettuce at this point. And all of the lettuce that actually grows in our shipping container stays right here on campus and goes right to our students. Um, we send it over to where the wild greens are, which is our own salad and grain bowl concept that we have here on campus. Um, so you're able to actually I mean, talk about hyper local. We literally yeah. walk it over to our union and rough locations <laughs> when we need to. Art is so delicious. Um, <laughs> one of my favorites for I sure. Would, I lived in Maple South, and we would go all the way over to Founders just to eat there at mm -hmm. night because we had to have that green bowl, that salad, the chicken was so good. Uh, this so, yeah, local is amazing. Yeah. Tofu. Um, and so over at where the Wild Greens are, Founders, you can get um, flatbread pizzas, your grain bowl, your soup, 
all of that and then a little different with the union you can get salads um, and then we've added smoothies to that menu so it is it is so good and we're gonna do monthly features um, with superfoods I think in August or September we're gonna do are we doing apple kind of an apples apple? are in September yes so August we're doing August we're featuring tomatoes and so we're actually doing a sun-dried uh, a tomato basil hummus which I cannot wait to try <laughs> um, yeah. but yeah so do you guys want to see inside our freight farm yes. absolutely and this is also ran by um, interns so that's really cool too yeah. there are students just like you running this freight farm yes so. Hi. <laughs> germinate and become little plants uh, which is exciting so then we move them up here and these aren't looking great but they were <laughs> <laughs> moved up here yesterday and but then we take these so like next Monday um, we'll take these out and transplant them into mm -hmm. the towers and we'll harvest what's in the section that they're going to be in so it's all grown vertically, so that's how we can fit so much into this like little shipping container <laughs> space, which is a little snug when you have multiple people working in here. Um, but here's what one of the towers looks like. And these are our little plants. So cool. Yeah, so these will be harvested on Monday, and then we'll transplant the new ones in. And you can actually eat this lettuce on campus at our retail location <laughs> um, where the wild greens are. And you can get that like your meal trade with your meal plan, which is super exciting. It's pretty much my favorite place to eat on campus. Um, they have lots of different like toppings and options. <laughs> um, these are LED lights. They're kind of like, they hang oh, yeah, down. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, we can turn we them like on. This, this is so cool. Yeah, it's a party when they're on, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> and the water drips down from these emitters um, and like makes its way down the tower. Mm -hmm. And so this is like the sunlight that the plants need. It has the red and blue um, wavelength and then the water. And we can also put other nutrients in. Oh, I'll put this back in so the, when the water comes out, it doesn't splash us. <laughs> So the water comes from the main tank down there and then it like travels through and we also store some like cleaning stuff down there. It's really important for us to keep it clean so there's not like algae and we don't attract pests. It's kind of an issue sometimes. Um, but yeah, they're different sections and so every week we just harvest like a bag of lettuce and I take it over to the kitchen and it's all done right here on campus, which is exciting that um, it's so fresh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you wanna like kind of show them the whole like back here you can see like the whole um like progression there's like five sections and so there's just different little life cycles with all of them that is so cool yeah it is a party in here at the lifetime yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you can have a speaker yes <laughs> listen to music i love it cool. awesome yeah. so cool. Thanks, Amelia. Yeah, yeah, thanks for showing us around. My eyes are adjusting. I know. <laughs> Everything's going to look green now. Yes. It really does. Hey, how cool is that? So before we sign off, um, we'll do one more little plug about um, hiring. So we are always looking for students to come work for us. We're super flexible. We start out at $10 an hour, which is above minimum wage here in Arkansas. Um, we offer internships and not just food service so um, Ashley has um, dietetic and wellness interns I have marketing interns and we're always looking to hire so if you're ever interested um, you can apply at alltogethergreat.com and then follow us on social media food on the hill Instagram Twitter and Facebook and Ashley also yeah. has well, do you want to do a little plug about Arky Eats Well? Yeah, so I actually have my own Instagram account. It's called Arky Eats Well. Um, and I post obviously healthy things, um, <laughs> but sometimes just depending on what it is, I might post what I eat in the, in the dining hall. 
um, during the week, which I love eating the dining halls. So um, yeah, it's really easy for me to find some healthy options in there too. So just give me a follow and yeah. uh, if you're into that. So. <laughs> thank so, you guys. Thank you guys for joining us today. Be sure to join us tomorrow at 10 o'clock for our campus health um, UARC home live tour. Uh, you can go to movein.uark.edu um, and find more information about that to get signed up. But thanks for joining us today. Hope you guys learned more. If you have any more questions, just comment down below. Corey's going to try to get to all of them. But we're really excited to have you guys here in the, in the fall. And there's lots of good food here for you guys to eat. So you will not go hungry. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, have a great summer. We'll see you in the fall. <laughs>